back for millions of Americans caring for their aging parents comes with lots of challenges from making sure the right pills are taken at the right time to keeping medical records straight to simply keeping in touch it's a lot and sometimes it's hard to know how to help columnist and host of tech now for USA Today Jennifer Jolly who has the best name ever <laughs> is here with some tech that will alleviate some of that anxiety and help your aging parents stay more independent welcome nice to thank see you, you Jennifer thank you so much for having me you know you know, I think the irony is all this technology seems like it would be so helpful, and yet many of us have parents who are not that tech savvy. That's exactly right. A lot of seniors, and this might surprise a lot of us, but a lot of seniors won't use a cell phone because they're just too hard to figure out. So tech companies are responding by making products specifically for seniors. This is the Jitterbug Plus cell phone right here. It has large numbers. The speakers are really loud. It has simple yes, no. You want to make a phone call? Yes. It also connects you to Great Call and the five-star urgent response. So you push two buttons, you get right to a trained professional 24-7. How much would a phone like this cost? This is $100, and then depending on how much you want with the emergency response, it's 15 to 25 additional dollars a month for whatever plan you need. Okay, the other issue I think a lot of us have and, for, and worry about our parents is in terms of taking their medication. Right. How can you make sure that people, because it's hard enough for us, I think, to remember, did we take a pill and when do we yeah. take our medication? So I think for seniors, it it's, it's can, can be even more challenging, and you have some tech devices that can help in that area. Yeah, by the time a person 70, they're taking an average of a dozen different pills a day. And nearly half of all nursing home admissions are just due to the fact that they can't take these unsupervised. A lot of accidental overdoses, whole slew of new gadgets to deal with that. These four are from a company called ePill. This is an actually an, a medical alert bracelet. It's disguised as a watch so that the person who's wearing it can just be like, hey, it's my normal watch. An alarm will go off when they need to take their medication or there's a panic button if they need help. This is wow, a, a that's cool. Serva, it's a pill service station. It keeps a month's worth of pills in here locked down. So no accidental overdoses. When the alarm goes off, they just tip it forward. The pills go out into the cup. They take their medication. And all of these show when the last time the pills were taken and whether there were missed pills. And what about this one? This is a little a bottle cap. It fits on any regular sized pill bottle and it lights up and alerts you when it's time to take your medicine, shows you the last time it was opened, and lets you know if you've missed any medications. Okay, great. Of course, we also worry, you know, just that our parent, my mom is 91, she lives by herself. Right. She has one of those things, you know, that you push, uh, what it, medical alert mm -hmm. things, um, you know, I've fallen and I can't get up type things. <laughs> yeah. She sometimes puts it on a picture frame in her bedroom, and I'm like, mom, that's not where that should be. It needs to, you need to wear it. Panic but, but there are other things yeah. that are now on the market to just kind of keep tabs of your parents, right? There are a lot of monitoring systems out there that do what basically you can't, and that is keep a watchful eye on your loved ones 24-7 just making sure that nothing is amiss and then if something does go wrong that they, they can get you they can get 911 but the problem with a lot of these monitoring systems is their cameras and a lot of seniors feel like hey that's too much that's too intrusive it's too invasive it's too intrusive I want my autonomy so this is called lively this is a series of sensors it comes with these six sensors they have an accelerometer and a Bluetooth inside and you attach each one to something that depicts and denotes a part of your parents regular day so you could put one for instance on a pill bottle you can put one on a door on a keychain and then each of these talks with this hub and and shows and tracks regular activity so if a, if the bedroom door isn't opened you know maybe mom or dad hasn't gotten up and gotten out of bed all day you know if it shows that they left the house you know when they come home you can pull this information up in real time on a dashboard so you would like adhere this to a door to a door, say the refrigerator door, maybe they have a hard time remembering to eat, or maybe they're just not eating and taking care of themselves. Uh -huh. It'll track six different, and you can get additional trackers. It will track all of these different activities. What's neat about this is it gives the person you're, t you're caring for a lot of privacy and a lot of feeling of control. There is a panic pendant that you can push if they need to in real time, but it also gives you that peace of mind that you're there when you can't actually be there. And that's 
one of the biggest issues that we face today. All right. Another issue, I think, for a lot of people as they get older and they're living by themselves, they can't get around. They can't necessarily clean their homes like they used to. Right. Tell us about this, because this is something that I would like to have just out of sheer laziness. We, <laughs> we all deserve one of these. This is the Manuel. This is a hybrid robot vacuum cleaner and mop. It's brand new technology. And, you know, it's a real source of pride. It maps out the room. So it tracks and maps. It takes a picture of where the ceiling is, all the dimensions, and makes sure to hit all those nooks and crannies. And then say you have a picky mom who's who can't believe a robot could do the work she can. Uh, she can run it via remote control. All right, Jennifer Jolly. So Thank good to you. see you. Thanks, Jennifer. Yeah. And if you'd like to learn more about all these devices, you can head to our website at katiecurric.com. We'll be right back.